in this video we're going to be working on a flyer this is a flyer for a brand that i've always worked for so what we're going to be getting is something similar to what we've been doing before for them and to give you an example these are some of the flyers i've done for this brand if you look very well you see that there is a particular pattern in them and yet they still look very unique what do i mean this is where you can find the logo always in the center and when it has to do with um text i play around with how i make the text look like you can see in the singapore over here and the zanzibar here and um i didn't do that over in this one but what i did in this one was how i placed the circles and the shapes as you can see it's similar to what is here and then in this particular one also quite similar but there is um, the price and the date attached to it so there are many other designs i've done for them but i think this tree will show you how i mean having by having the same pattern for the designs and yet making them very unique also you can see that um here are where we have the packages included and the contacts and this powered by always at the base so these two things are consistent the powered by and the logo at the top same with this place the package included is here and the contact is here and for this this and um their contact is in the middle no need for powered by in this case but um you just get what i mean right so let us get started first of all i will start with opening a new um document i will change it to pixels and i'll use 2500 by 2500 i usually use 2000 for them but i decided to start in 2500 this time around because um it will increase the quality of the view and the first thing i will do is just to lift any of these logos because i don't have to um do anything else or start bringing the logo from somewhere else so i can just lift this logo and place it somewhere here i can't see it so i'll change the color setting i've used as you can see it is smaller here than it is here this is because this image is at 2000 okay 1200 it is it has been very long i did this 2020 so let me just change it to 2500 and do that same lifting again so that every setting will remain intact for me while i don't have to start readjusting and resizing things it's easier i do it this way than to go the other side and start readjusting everything so we are done with the resizing i will lift the logo again and place it here as you can see this is big enough exactly like what we want and i will leave it here for now i will ignore the shadow at the background and just take it off I don't know the um, color of the background I'll use yet, but I've downloaded um, a couple of images for this. So when that time will come, I will find them and I will use them. Then this uh, package is included and all that. I will look at the, the price, the dates, the pictures. And why I'm using this is because our next design is also Singapore related as you can see this is Singapore group tour so the first thing I should do is put this Singapore group tour in the details here so I've copied it and simply pasted it changed every color to white now it should be black for me to see what I am doing and i will make it a little bit bigger um let me remind you that there will be a lot of back and forth in this work because first of all design just not does not just happen you do some iterations you try out some things and make sure that what you are getting is what you want to get so um first of all work with singapore and i'm duplicating this because i want to separate singapore and group tour 
from each other so i'll remove singapore from here and i'll remove group tour from the other side now you get what i mean and then next thing i'll do is let me put the group tour down it is the singapore i want to have a different style of text as you can see over here we have a different style of text for zanzibar i'll have a different style of text for singapore here so i'm going to find a particular font that will look very good for singapore and i will use it for it and then do the other manipulations i will do on it and while we're waiting for the fonts to load i also want to tell you that um you can actually do your design in two ways you can put the text first and then you start placing the background or you place the background first then start placing the text but here is how i do mine i do everything on black and white first first of all i place the I think I like this font and I'm going to use it. So first of all, I put all my text. I might not put them exactly where I want them to be, but I just put them there. And then when I'm done with it, I place the backgrounds where um, they could possibly go perfectly. And then after that, I can start placing and arranging every other thing and adding colors to it the way I want. And you might also ask, why why don't I add colors um, as I start? Well, one thing with colors is that it will make you confused at a point. So what I do is when I place my backgrounds and the images, I draw colors from the images and have a particular thing for what I am doing. In this particular one, we have blue here and we have um, something a little bit purple around here and also around this area. So what I did basically was to take that color and adopt it into this, made it a little bit thicker, reduced the transparency and it gave me this color. Then I applied it here with a little bit of um, gradient. For this, I used this kind of blue around here because I found out that this one was not really blending in with this. It was quite shouty. So I used a dark one to blend it in very well. Now, as you can see, the sources of these colors are simply on the background image or from the background image. And same with Zanzibar, this color and the dark blue or greenish kind of color we are seeing here rhymes. But it's not so blue, neither is it so green. So I found a middle point between the blue and the green and choose this color for it and while um, I used this red to just um, make it pop it stands out it is different we can't find it any other place in this design or in the background images but it just makes the design pop so that is what the red is doing there so back to the Singapore group tour I will place the text right now in, and I will try I'll try to be fast on that so that we get on with every other thing so guys i am back with all the details except for the contact details and i will just drag this contact because this is his most recent contact and place it um in this design i will drag it and drop it anywhere i can and then i will switch it off switch everything off and we start arranging singapore group tour i think i like how this is already Quite centralized and then there are images i've gotten for this work which are these images as you can see here i have a png of airplanes i have one taking off shot from low angle i have um this beautiful image of singapore which i am likely going to use i also have this one which is also beautiful but i love the colors around this and this one as well, which um, right now I don't know which I um, want to actually go for, but I think I might just go for this. And these are some other images like the dishes in Singapore, some other beautiful places in Singapore, the airline, and this too. You know. And these are just images that I've gotten to use. And like you already know, there is a pattern to my designs. I have this pattern of having a background image and then having a couple of other images like two or three as the case may be 
so that is what i and that is exactly what i'm gonna do here i will then choose my background image which i will easily go for this or let me just go for this one and place it right there and then drag it way down to above the background layer so that we can change this color to white and start working on the rest so first of all as usual i'm gonna do this i should i could <laughs> i could just carry the effect here and paste it onto this one but let me show you how it is done so we double click on this and enter the layer style box go to fill opacity and turn it down you can also do that over here but let me just turn down the fill opacity when you do that you find out that your text disappears or whatever you are turning down the fill disappears now you could be confused if it is similar to op opacity um, the difference is that opacity creates or determines the transparency of everything both the effects and the layer itself but fear only determines the transparency of the effect the layer so when i add a stroke the stroke will still show it will only be affected if i reduce the opacity here but with the opacity on the stroke will still show so i will keep the stroke and because we're already working on gradient i think i will work alongside the gradient for the light gradient of yellow i'll replace it with um, something light blue around here this might not be the final result but let's just continue and then for the dark gradient of yellow i'll replace it with something around here well, let me just make it something around here so we have these two gradients i'll make this one more bluish it looks um greenish whitish or that about so i'll make it something like this and then we are good to go so i will now multiply this along all these areas by clicking i know this is the last one i clicked so i'll just click on an area here move it to 50 while i remove the one there before and like as usual this one is on 75 so i will click on this and place it beside it drag it out and take it to 75 click on this and do the same and there we go we have this and it won't end there we can add some bevel and emboss to it which we can get in this way and um, let me add a little bit more feel to it and change this color to white so that we can easily see the text so let's go back to our editing let me reduce the feel for now increase the size of our stroke and then i'll add you can choose either to add a shadow or glow to this but looking at this i think a glow would be better because everything around is dark so i'll add a glow to it and if it doesn't work i will try adding a shadow and i don't think it works so let me try adding a shadow to this and see what comes out of it now i guess the problem is that our fill opacity it is too small so i will add a little more to that and here we go change this to normal contour make it very soft and something like this will do So here we are after adjusting everything. I I you I would usually want this to be very transparent, and I'm looking for ways to make that possible. Which of course I'm surely gonna get, no matter what it takes. So let us keep on working on that. And of course I've gotten it is just to add a white stroke to this and there we go the white stroke does the magic and yeah so we have our singapore but then you now ask okay why not we use the blue well let me use the blue in the glow 
outer glow area and see what we can get. Alright, so this is not looking bad at all. It's not looking bad at all. Remember, like I said in the beginning, we will have a lot of back and forth here. So, um, just get used to it now. I will reduce the stroke a little bit more and will increasing it work. Uh, okay. I believe you can read this. I believe you can read this. Yes, you can. A little bit of fuel opacity will do so good. Changing this back to black to know what fits best. And I think this fits really good. So this is Singapore. And this is equally Singapore. What's the difference here? Style, I guess. So I decided to also add a white glow to it before we add the blue one and see if I can get rid of the stroke while doing that. Um, it's just a little experiment to see what can happen. And um, at the end of it, I went back to my stroke and uh, got rid of the shadow. So I believe this is quite um, visible enough for the eye to see and not bad at all now i can also reduce the opacity of the stroke or leave it um right there but i decided to reduce it down to 95 not so visible but better still so we are done with singapore and then the next is group tour which of course we're just gonna make a plain color and that will be white but it's gonna have a shadow so that it will be easily read either a shadow or a contour or stroke photoshop we call it stroke color draw we call it contour either this or this should do and i would work better with this So we have Singapore group tour. This looks um, not really exciting. So I will make it a little bit exciting now by making it italics and um, wow, so, so exciting. Would you believe that? Singapore group tour, it's a go. Then I can choose areas to add my images. As, I, as you can see here is already getting crammed up to compare with this area. So I will add some images around here. Let us not worry so much about the um, text for now. Let us focus on these images. So I'll add um, images using rectangles instead. But I would also want to add some style to my rectangles. As you can see, I love adding styles to it. So adding a cover of 50, uh, good, let me try 100. And um, 
I think this is quite too much. So let's stick somewhere in between. 75 is perfect. And that will be my first square for my first image. The second square for the second image. And of course, the third square for the third image. But it's not going to be this way. So I will place one here. Place the other one, this area. And that will be that for the images. Then I will find the best and place it in the front. Of course, of course, yeah, we love the food. We all love the food. So here we go, the food. With this layer on top of this, you can just simply press Ctrl Alt G and it clips it into this. Or you can hold down the Alt and hover your mouse over where the lines meet and you press it and it clips it in or you can right click and still find your clip mask now where is it hello oh it is in already so i will release and then create clipping mask yes yeah, so here we go and because of the orientation of the image i would like to place this this way rather and readjust it where it will fit in best so that we can see the food in all its glory and um, salivate while we are on our way to Singapore. Remember you are doing this all that the clients will love what they see and would want to patronize your clients because if it's successful then more business deal. I think I should just keep this this way for now yeah while i work on this so finding the second best image i think i would go since we already have this building no need going with um, any other building that has the boats on it so we will go with something like this so we have the what i call is the eye of singapore now and as usual we clip it inside and resize to fit now don't make it too small that no one sees what is there but make it small enough that it accommodates the major details and you are good to go as you can see although this one is hiding this area it is not hiding it completely and then the next one is this of course i will use this very popular in-house waterfall click it into the shape drag it inside and readjust as usual so we have the three of them but i will want to distinguish them from this whole environment now and i will start with any of them let me start with the one i can see the whole shape and that is the one in front the one with the food and as usual we add some stroke who would have guessed and just very basic just very basic do we add a drop shadow uh let me see let me see let me see let me see uh, i think uh, yeah 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 let's let's just add drop shadow yeah and next is to copy layer style and paste it onto this tool so select both of them right click and paste layer styles and there we have the beautiful 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 images of singapore i'm gonna group them into one and adjust the colors now to fit into something this bluish because it looks kind of off so what we're going to do is go to this option here and click on channel mixer where i will mix everything click on this button to clip it into the shape don't mind this clipping out we'll still sort that out later go to the blues and just adjust the sliders a little a little will do and we are good to go so back to this what do we do about about our 
our image being clipped in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group this all as one. So what I can do instead of doing it to stand aside because I've seen that it is kind of cutting out some of the edges of my work, I could just go the long process of multiplying it and placing it along all this, holding the odds, dragging, dropping, clipping it in and repeating the process till I get to the three. Well, it's not so much of a work because it's just three images and I've been able to get it done. So here we go. Increase the size of this a little bit more. So here we go. We have done justice to this area. And then the next thing is, of course, the details. I think we're done with all the images that we need to add. So let us start adding the details one after the other. And the first thing we have here is the date, of course, July 22nd to 30th, 2022. I'm going to make it white for me to see what I am doing. And then I start adjusting. This is very simple. I could start adjusting it from here, but I will not go that long way. I'm just going to drag this and paste it over there and change the details to what I want. Okay. So I've written the details already before. Let us just do this. We have July. We have April here. So July. We have 2020. We have 2022. We have 30th. We have 30. We have 22nd. We have 22nd. And we are glad we came this far. So you go. You stay i'm just gonna place it here for now i could change the position to somewhere there or maybe later but let it stand out here for now and let me push this one a little bit more to the side and i think that would do there well i'm i'm just gonna keep the dates here Let's just tweak a little things. I'm doing this because the details of this is gonna be much. So I think I'm reserving all this space for it. I hope it all enters. And then let me put it at white for now and go ahead with the other details. So we have inclusion. And by the way, since all these are written in black, I will change all of them to white so that we all don't have to go through that process again so here we have inclusion for the details i'm gonna put a little shape behind it i always do that not always but a lot of times if there is no shape behind it there is this big stuff behind it okay so and sometimes both so i'm gonna put a little shape behind it Keep it really simple, but not so simple, of course, you know. So let us get this a curve 15 degrees. Great. I already really like the color we're having there, so I'm going to leave it. Just make it a little bit larger. And then here we go, the details. Wow, this is going to be one hell of a walk. So I've adjusted everything where it should be and I will need another shape of course. This time around I'll duplicate this shape for the rest. Place it in the size I want it to be. It might not be this size at the end but let us start with this for now. change the properties to 
let's say 50 this time around great and the color of, uh, of the shape as well to this so that at least we can see what we are doing right yeah no that's more like it so eight nights of accommodation with breakfast comes down at hotel lavender five hotel lavender four morning breakfast i'm not going to talk about this for now morning city tour afternoon at, after a date with cable car plus madame two sounds with images I don't think sh this should be here. But let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Of single plus 40, marble plus Botrid. Oh god. Marina Bay. Garden by the bay. I think they should be there. Yeah, they should be there. And this. Now, of course, I'm gonna space them all out. Keep this at 12, keep this at 14. Here we go. I'll start by creating a particular shape here. Let me see if I have a shape I've already used a lot of times. And this will do for me. So we know how many lines we have. I'm going to duplicate them or multiply them according to this number of lines. So here we go. I think I have 12 lines, right? I forgot three. Got this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen lines. Wow! So here we go. This goes all the way down here, and all I'm gonna do now is scroll down to the first one, select all, and click on this button. It will evenly distribute all the dots accordingly. And then I'll look for where continues the sentence and delete that, those parts and leave the only ones that start with a new point. So we have visa, eight nights with breakfast, so we don't need this here. Oh no. Morning city tour, we have that. Afternoon half with cable car, we don't need this here. Images with images and we don't need this here. Lost put right, we don't need this here. Now it has been established that this is for all this Universal Studio, Marina Bay Sands plus Garden by the Bay. Oh, okay, we need them. We don't need this. Return airport transfers, all tours and transfer on private basis. We need this, we need this, we don't need this here. So that settles our matter with. Well, almost i guess you can change this to medium for it not to look too much and then push inclusion to the side of this now we could just you know change the positions of this, swap this with this and it could still go very well and something in my mind is telling me to do that and I'm gonna do that and I have done that so inclusion goes back to where it is I'm so settled about this and I'm gonna take our images gallery to this point 
and I can just flip them around. I don't think it matters really. There are no text and any other thing to show, so flipping them around won't really hurt anyone. And for our dots, sorry I left you guys out. You are gonna enjoy your ride back to where you belong, which is here. And to add more spice to it, I wouldn't want this and this to stay apart, so I'm gonna do something now. Take this down all the way down to this point where it hides in between, and take this one a little bit all the way up to this point so that we have something like an equal space between this area and this area. Not exactly that, but yeah, it's so close, right? Oh, to avoid all those gaps here, I could just also take this one down and bring this down as well and then change this to of course you know what is coming right now 50 so we have this uniformity here and i'm gonna make this one just a sharp edge or a little less than 50 so i'm gonna turn this off and for this edge which is this edge i'll take it back to somewhere around 20 and there we have that over there very tiny detail that you might not notice but yes we've done it we've added it there and for the date i'm gonna stick it into this area and to make it also stand out from the rest so that we can all see it clearly we're gonna have another shape for it yeah in this company we deal with shapes just shapes you know fill everything with shapes shapes and more shapes change it to 40 okay i'm good 40 is nice i'm good with 40. And what is happening here boys oh. so let's take it back to 40 please I guess what happened here is because I reset everything, so we're having some kind of discrepancies. I'll take everything back to zero and then let's start afresh and place it at 40. And we've settled that matter. So, we, when you have such a um, confusing situation, make sure that this is turned on, take everything back to zero, and then put in the number you want to place there and we are good to go again do i make this red no do i give it a try yes does it look so good like something i could work with uh not really it's not bad but then i'm still drawn to colors like this so i'd rather just stick to something like that oh green is nice green from here oh nice nice so let's go with this dark shade of green and i'm gonna do something else with this image i've not done this before but it will be worth a try let's go to polygon set it to how many sides let me say 50 sides we want to create spikes of stars change this to stars indention change it like seven degrees or seven right and yes here we have something we can work with place it somewhere around here just the two work together or no i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get rid of the shape and Go with my polygon and resize. Place it right there. So we have the dates. And I'm gonna change this to tall dates because obviously we're talking about tall. And push this one 
a little bit higher so that every other thing can enter because we have prizes to place and contact details to place as well you know so we must be sure that every other thing here has some way it fits in now here are our rates we place our rates over here and for the visa we place it let me turn that off now oh gosh i didn't put the rates wow so give me a second i'll be back and i'll be back with the rates so guys here i am i'm back with the rates and as you can see we have a lot a whole lot i am gonna place this around boxes or inside boxes around here so one of these will be here the other one will be here while the other one will be here and the fourth one will be in the middle of all of them don't mind all these scattered, scattered details now i'm gonna take care of all of them shortly So we have the four of them this way and while thinking of this now i think the child without bed and the child with bed can come below at the um, bottom of the other two which will be at the top so aligning them i'll place them around here and this ones aligning their tops as well i'll place them around here So that this this share a common a common right alignment you get what i mean right and place this here and once again you know what is coming up next the ships so um well we should be used to that by now so let's here we sized a little bit to fit in and I'll just gonna duplicate it and of course that will be after I have changed this to maybe 20 now 50 should do here yes it does yes it does and this ones i'm gonna extend them all the way so that it covers this area and i'm gonna extend this one all the way down so that it blends into this and change the color I just found out I shouldn't use a thick black for this so I'm gonna go with medium and I'm gonna change the alignment to right alignment so that it just suits what we have um push everything to the right for now get these ones a little bit higher to go this way and we have our information and rates placed carefully and rightly 
where they should be and of course you know what's coming next we take down the oh, the feel of our shape so here we are we are good to go on this but to differentiate this area from this area i would also want to keep this For easy readability, of course, and um, I'm changing this color. Okay, now I, I think this works. Yes, this works. And now add spice to our design, which yeah, we 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 can we can never go wrong in adding spices. We can never go wrong. I will make this simple shape. Change the color to white for now. I'll still get rid of it later. Take it up here. Uh -huh. Um, I'll duplicate and rotate. And place it this way. So we have this. For this, I'm making sure that it's in the center of our shape, right? I'm taking this a little bit down so that they don't so that they are evenly distributed. And I'm also making sure that this is also in the center of our shape and what i'm gonna do is merge these two shapes together as one hold the control button and select it hold this button and select hold this shape and select it and um holding the alternate button i click on this it gets rid of it gets rid of the area selected and this is the area selected so that when i turn this off we have something like this so yeah, that's some little spice to it. Um, I don't care what you want to say. Some little spice won't be bad. You can turn down the opacity a little so that you can see what I did there. You know, on the sea. Uh -huh. So when we are, while we are done with this, I can still take this inclusion up. Make sure that it is way up there so that we can have um, some space for other important things. Now you could tell me why am I now blocking every detail, every background. Well, this alone should tell you we are in Singapore and these aren't blocked. So um we are not sacrificing so much here are we no we aren't and then for the visa we still have we still have wow this is the detail i was looking for well i am done with that so off it goes for the visa we can place it here and Wow, this this is this is a whole lot of work. I was not expecting myself to go this detailed with this work. But well, what can we say? We always make sure we deliver satisfaction to the client, of course. And if this will give them satisfaction, then let's do it for the fun of it as well, you know. Of course, change this to medium. As you can see, I've not changed the font I used ever in all this. The only thing I used apart from Metropolis is Banana Yeti. So that should let you know that you can walk around one font all through your design. 
So eight nights accommodation with breakfast, return airport transfers, tour and game. So this is what the visa contains. Should I make this in a square as well? Mm, maybe not. Why not we try something else? Something like changing the color to no. Well, I'm going to make it in a square. Well, you're going to like what I'm going to do here. So let's just do it. Let us just do it. Because, well, what are we looking for here if not for squares and shapes? We live and we breathe shapes. So, so we have no option, we have no choice than to live and breathe shapes. And yes, that will help. It. That won't matter now. Let's just turn it off. And of course, we have um, this to be our. Oh, we've lost the detail there. We have what? We have this to be at 48. Oh, wow. Oh, we have this to be at 48 and we will also have this to be at 48 for the base alone so that we have something like this and i'm gonna make this color same with this color so we have some kind of um uniformity going on here and then you could see that the visa is kind of standing out, nothing too special about it. Yeah, I have plans for it as well. And um, let's see if the plan will work. And that plan is to change the text color to something bright and beautiful. And I think that works. Or we could just go with this text color. With this shape color no no let's make it a little bit bright now to the eyes um there might not be so much difference unless you're a lady and you see more colors than guys well we keep it this way we are good yes we are I'm trying to make this a little more green think can help I just have to look for colors around the background of what I am doing and then find the best shade for it and while we're doing that I will reduce this shape as the size of this text as well so that it does not go too close to the edges and readjust it so that it fits again centrally and there we go I think we're done with every other thing aside contacts. Oh. Oh. Hotel V Lavender. I think I'm, I'm gonna put this here. Destination Hotel V Lavender. And of course, our contacts. Finally, we made it, guys. Who would have believed? Who, who would have believed, actually? Who would have believed?
Of course, we know the color to give it white. So I'm gonna keep it this way and here we are we are almost done the next things to do now is to make sure that there are no mistakes and there's nothing I'm missing so we have the contact info we have every other thing every detail I've placed here are all visible I'm just going through and scrolling through this area to make sure that everything is all visible even in the groups I have placed them and I think they are all visible. And the last part, powered by, this is where we're gonna do an overkill now. So we take everything here a little bit higher so that we can accommodate our powered by. The only thing I'm not touching is the logo and of course the background. So we have everything down there. And I'm going to use this part by because it is the exact size of the document I'm working on. And of course, place it in the center. Make sure it is in the center. Align it properly. And changing this to the color of whatever is behind it. Hmm? Mm. and then i could choose to go on dark how did i do this i went on white uh i went on right here i could choose to go on dark here and then go on white for the inside and i think that solves the problem I will use a color close to what I have been using before. So guys, we have come to nearly the end of this design. Everything I think it's fine. Everything is good. It's looking good. It's looking great. The next thing I'm going to do is to go to camera roll and give it the final touch. So I We'll control alternate shift E to create a new layer with everything on it. Right click it and convert it to a smart object. Control shift A to go to camera raw. And then I will do a few adjustments and send it to my client. Also, note that there could be little changes by the end of this design. So if you want to find out if there has been changes or not, follow me on Instagram to view this image when i post it but that is because i have not sent this to the client yet so the client has to see it see if there are modifications to be done and send it back to me so i'm gonna reduce the highlights a little 
increase the contrast turn up the exposure a little not so much turn up the shadows a little go to the whites take it down take down the blacks Okay, and then add some sharpen, add some little bit of noise reduction, 25 and 10 is good. And I think I am done here. So this is it without camera or filter. And this is it with the camera or filter off and on. So guys, we've come to the end of this tutorial. It was a very, very long one but i'm sure you and glad that you learned share this with your friend if you're not yet subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel and i will also have a faster version of this video you can go check it out over there now thank you see you next time and goodbye